everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the mixed cluster stitch, which you can see here in front of you. It creates this very uh, pretty design. It's a fairly dense pattern and uh, has a little bit of texture here with it as well. It is similar on the front and the back. It creates a solid fabric and it's just a fun stitch to work. So today we're going to learn how to work this mixed cluster stitch. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen times Pantone yarn as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and you can use any yarn or hook that you might have there at home. Thank you so much for joining me and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So for our mi mixed cluster stitch today, we're going to start by making our slip knot and by working a foundation chain. This pattern is worked in rows. And we're going to need a foundation chain with a multiple of two stitches. So uh, today for our chain, we're going to start by chaining 20 stitches. So once you have your, multi your chain with multiple of two stitches, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into your second chain from your hook, one, two, and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. So single crochet into that second chain and then in each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row one, your single crochet row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row two, we're going to start working our mixed cluster stitches. First thing we're going to do is into that first stitch, we're going to work one half double crochet stitch like so. We're now going to work a mixed cluster. Now to work your mixed cluster, you're going to be working over this uh, over three stitches. So you're going to work in your first stitch and then we're going to skip this next stitch and we're going to work in the third stitch. To start the cluster, we're going to start by yarning over, insert your hook into that first stitch that has the half double crochet in it, yarn over and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two of those loops. You'll have two loops on your hook. We're going to complete the cluster by skipping the stitch in between and into that next stitch we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, do that one more time, yarn over, Insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You'll have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull that loop through all six of the loops on your hook. And that's your first mixed cluster. You're then going to chain one. You're going to work those clusters all the way across and they're always worked over three stitches, working the first part into the same stitch as the last stitch was worked. So to start again, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch that we just worked in, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's the first part of our cluster. Skip the stitch in between, then yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, do that one more time, so a total of two, yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, or the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Six loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all six. I'll show you one more time. Chain one, 
first part of our cluster, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch as the last stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops. You have two loops on your hook. Skip the next stitch, into the next one, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. You want to do that twice, so that was the first time. Do it one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Six loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all six, and chain one. So you're going to continue that all the way across your work, all the way across that row of single crochet stitches. So I'm here, I'm just working my final mixed cluster, so I have two stitches here left, working that first leg, and then my second into that last single crochet. I yarn over, pull through all six loops, and then to end this row, we're going to, you don't chain one, just after that cluster stitch, yarn over and work one final half double crochet stitch into that final stitch and that's just going to end the row for you just like so and that brings you to the end of your second row your th row three is going to be easy you're just going to chain one turn your work and simply work one single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way across. So that's into each chain stitch and into each cluster stitch across. So you can see I'm just working right through the center of that chain stitch, not into the space. Continue all the way across, working your final single crochet into that starting half double crochet stitch. I am working my final single crochet into that ha last half double crochet there of my little swatch. I'm then going to chain one and turn my work. And as this is a two row repeat pattern, uh, those are the only two steps to it. So after you've chained one, turn your work, you're going to start by working that half double crochet into your first stitch. And then you're going to work another row of mixed cluster stitches. After you work that row of mixed cluster stitches, chain one, turn your work, and work a row of single crochet. And that's all there is to working this mixed cluster pattern. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, in the comments, feel free to tell me what kind of project you would use this stitch in. And uh, until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.